Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastically well. And whatever prop firm challenge you are on, you're absolutely crushing it. So I thought I'd do another quick update on Blue Garden Capital. Since their rebrand a couple of months back, things have obviously developing. They've made a few changes behind the scenes. So I'll give an update of what they've done and how I'm actually progressing. I'm doing a current challenge with them at the moment and how I'm actually able to document that on my Telegram group and actually see how the trades are going on that one. So when any company does a rebrand, there's always that point of they could alienate some of their existing customers and not attract any new ones. But I think as traders, we're not too worried about how the homepage looks. We're all worried about actually getting payouts from the company themselves. And what we have seen since the rebrand, obviously a lot of more people have signed up. They've got a lot more people funded with Blue Guardian. And I believe they've done over a quarter of a million dollars in payouts just in the past sort of couple months alone. So definitely things are moving in the right direction. All those payouts are listed a lot of times on their Telegram group or Discord channels, as well as on other social medias. And definitely I've seen a massive increase in the engagement with the guys from the firm, especially an improvement in their social media on Instagram, and that's actually looking a lot better than what I have seen over the past couple of months. Now the improvements they've made is to actually extend out the time required in Phase 1 and Phase 2. So as we all know, typically Phase 1 is 30 days, Phase 2 is 60 days, They've added a 10 additional days for the traders, so now you're getting 40 days in phase one and 80 days in two, So I think it's fantastic. It just takes a little bit of extra pressure off and gives some people an extra two weeks to almost to, to pass the challenges. There's also been an introduction of a $10,000 challenge, because a lot of people out there can't always afford the $100,000, $200,000. They're always the top echelon, the, the glory ones, as I like to call them. People want to start off with, let's say, $10,000, and now you can get on board for under a hundred dollars to sign up and if you are interested in signing up obviously there is a affiliate link in the description below where you will get five percent off your sign up as well one of the big concerns a lot of traders have is around commissions swaps or charges actually on the broker now the broker i'm trading with at the moment is 8cap and i've had no issues at all with them the spreads have been tight and the execution has been really fast now it could be that i'm only trading small lot sizes as well as only trading the the major pairs or the big indices and gold and as such there's plenty of liquidity in the markets and they do execute them very quickly as well as a lot of brokers actually giving a almost like a loss leader on some of the spreads and making them really, really tight if you're trading some of the more exotic pairs let's say turkish lira or some of the mexican pesos then yes definitely spreads will be different and there might be execution problems but as i always say stick with the majors and you can't go far wrong and we can see here that I've been trading for just over a week on this particular account. I'm 4% up, so on that $4,000 worth of profit, the fees have been in commissions, $117. But because I've been short on some of the actual trades, I actually get paid a swap for being in that particular trade. So it averages out some only around about $80, $90 down. So when you consider that overall on a $4,000, the actual fees for that broker are actually quite insignificant. And that's something I wouldn't worry about actually signing up with these guys. The brokers are actually pretty good. Now, one of the key unique selling points is the Guardian Protector. So if essentially, you can go into the dashboard. You can set yourself a daily percentage or monetary loss limit value. So if at any point your cumulative amount on the trades is getting close to being hit that, you have no worry at all that actually will take you out. Although it is not 100% fallible. I have done a little bit of testing on this previously. And although, yes, it did actually save me when I set the actual limit to make sure I'm taking it out at 3.5% because the daily max drawdown is 4%, it was taken out no problems at all. But what I didn't realize is that it didn't actually go and leave that in there permanently. I had to go back and manually reset that when I actually got triggered. I assumed it was in there, carried on trading, and again, it hit it. Again, I was only testing it out, so I wasn't too worried about it at the time. But just be careful if you are trading. And if, let's say you've put your daily loss limit at 3.999%, expecting it to take you out regardless. There's always that risk with any particular thing. It's not infallible. And there could be a news announcement, a spike. And depending on the currency pairs or instruments you're trading, the liquidity may not be in the market and you may not get out at the exact point. There could be some slippage and therefore you might go over the actual daily loss limit. So that's why I've set mine at 2.5%. That also gives me that sort of mental check, knowing that if I've got some trades that are running, whether they're profit or loss, I know that whatever happens if I start opening some additional trades, my maximum exposure could be five, six, seven percent if I've got multiple trades running. But just knowing that if at any point it went completely wrong, I'd be completely stopped out at two and a half percent. I can live another day, 
carry on trading. So, so far I'm having a great time trading this particular challenge. I'm also documented in Telegram, as I said before, I've got a link below if you want to come and join up to the Telegram group where you better see what I'm thinking about in each day, some chart positions and patterns, some of the setups I'm looking at and any trades I'm actually in, I can post them there as well and see the progress as I'm going on, on board. I do also post my daily dashboards and people can see actually verified the accounts and it's not just a load of lies I'm spinning, telling everyone oh, I'm actually doing fantastic well, but in reality, I'm just literally close to crashing. I'm actually doing okay, 4% up in the first week and hoping to pass it very soon. Now I'm going to phase two and get to that payout stage, which is always the utopia, the dream of all of us prop traders. So I hope you enjoyed my quick update on Blue Young Capital. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Cheers.